it's brilliant. Um, like over the last number of years, GA in particular, of, of, uh, counties are beginning to prepare in lots of different ways, but sports science is beginning to play a, a major part. And look, at we see this as a, a brilliant opportunity. Um, I doubt there's a county in Ireland have this on the go, um, particularly from the 13 squads up. Um, so look, at it, it's, it's absolutely brilliant. Brilliant for us, brilliant for everyone concerned, and hopefully it'll, it'll bring success into the future. So look at it, uh, there's lots of, of theories and, and all the rest of it, and every coach you talk to probably has a different angle on all of this, but look at sports science does and will play a major part in preparation for all teams. Uh, look, the tests are there, everything is there. Um, to tell you where you're going wrong maybe and, and can correct them things and like it gives counties like Westmead uh, uh, just gives them a oh, look at it it gives them a big big lift into preparing teams preparing squads getting the young lads in the right place at the right time and hopefully going forward that in itself will bring success and look at it it, it, it puts you in the right place We're just approaching this whole um, football academy here and looking at the best interests of the player, keeping them at heart all the time. So, like we're trying to understand the, the changing needs of the player as they go through their, their development from, we'd say, 13 years of age up to minors. And um, we're looking at different areas. We, we say peak height, velocity, and looking at how these players are progressing. And we understand that each player is at a different zone, or is at a different level. So, we're just looking at training or tailoring our training to, to that specific level. Um, we're going to have a bit of input into the coaching aspect too, whereas the coaches need to be aware of certain growth spurts and certain areas where the players need development. So we're just going to have an input into sort of all areas of the development of the players. That's where we're going with that. Sports science, um, there's a growing body of research going out there for sports science. Um, I think more and more GA teams are starting to use sports science. We can see it now that the, the gap between the the gap between the stronger teams and the weaker teams is getting bigger. I think the, the more wealthy teams are starting to use sports science. I think um, we're in a great position here in Westmead now to, to use the facilities here in AIT just to, what, to close in that gap a bit. Um, starting at under 13 years of age, I think we're building a solid foundation for these for youth development in the county. Um, I think the players are going to progress physically, um, mentally and skillfully. I think we're going to have an input into all areas um, of the development with the sports science here. Um, well, I think like, we have a fairly new offering here, which is sports science in Athlone IT, where our students are now in their third year. I think the local community will benefit greatly with the young players um, getting first-hand experience at sports science. And for our own students here as well, they're getting first-hand experience of, of an elite environment. I think it's, it's crucial that our students are, have a big input into this, as well as myself, um, for, for the benefit of the local county and, and AIT. I think our students will be graduating with first-hand experience in an elite environment, which is something that most of the universities or, or um, institutions can't really offer. I think going forward, it's going to be a great benefit for the likes of Leash, Off, Leash Offaly, Westmead and, and Roscommon, and hopefully we'll start to roll this out uh, on, a, on, a larger, on a larger scale.